What's up, YouTube? And welcome back to yet another banger deck. This Tristana and Silent deck tries to swarm your opponent down with units that have impact, with mecha yordles, or with multi region followers. And Tristana really, really helps out those multi region followers because leveled up, she will give all of them impact on summon, but also to herself. And cards like Tana of Terror, or even All Cats, or mecha yordles, really, really help level Tristana super fast. And thanks to all of that, the Bandle Gunner becomes a cheap unit relatively quick into the game, becoming a 5-5 with 3 impact stacks. And with all of that combined, you also level Cyan. And with that, you try to win the game. So that is the deck. Remember to like and subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and enjoy the gameplay. Harpoon? No, that's... That's a good card, though. Ooh. I like that. I might add that. Oh no. A wear. A wear. I totally forgot Hapoon exists. But this guy feels so good to play on turn 2, if you have mayo in hand, because you just get this for 0 mana afterwards. Also Poros Lad is amazing to get, to play on the next turn afterwards. There's no 1 mana ping. And even if he dies here, like he gave already gave me enough value. Like this is incredible amount of pressure. <laughs> Yo, good morning, Ulsif. Nimble. Probably also hate spike or something. Stan is three out of five. Yeah, there it is. If he kills the one attack unit. Yeah, they're like, when they have Mordecai and S on the board, I'm probably gonna hard lose. So I have to kind of try to win before that. Alright, let's have her. Bye bye, bad guys. Oh, Destin Poro? He will actually level? Down to free. But that's a whole turn. Oh wait, the heal, right? Oh yeah, this card heals. They can play Mordecai as the next turn. Oh wait, I don't have the champion spell anymore. Oh there it is. I need to kill this. I don't want to Mordecai to revive this. I really don't want Monica to revive this. And Sign is almost leveled. If I play just Dana, he is leveled. Firepower solves everything. I dwell on Trist. But if I wait, I can't open attack with her. Because this turn I wanna play Cyan and I wanna open attack. There 
There we go. And that should be Chi-Chi. I think I win even if the level masses, no? I just block with Cyan. I still have this impact. I have her impact. I don't think there's anything that can do to stop this. War! Yeah. Especially this spell shit on the old cat has to be so annoying. Deathless. <laughs> Look, my board is hiding his deathless. That's kind of funny. There we go. Aggro. Yeah, well, Modekaiser even makes Vega strong. Hey, yo, more Modekaiser. But this time the Morgana version. Hmm. Is there a champ that Modek doesn't make strong? No. He is like released Samira. You put him in a deck with basically anything and it's good. Because it <laughs> it's just this effect on his level one that makes him like so disgustingly strong. I mean, of course you need all of his package cards like hate spike, death scratch and all of that to make use of it. But like, yeah, it's pretty easy to do. to share some spice. I'm on Evelyn Elder. Hey yo, spice. I've seen something similar before, I think. Hey yo, free explorers? <laughs> the hell, man. Three different explorers. Oh, this should be a Noxus only. That would fix a lot of problems. But this playstyle fits into Shadow Isle so much. So I think that would actually be bad for the game. It would make him more balanced, but it would be... It would make him more boring, I think. Make sure you capture the mustache's grandeur. It'll be as shiny and grand as the sun. Ayo. That's not bad. I don't wanna equip- Oh, I should have- Nah, I don't wanna lose the weapon. Actually. Seven nerves and chest. Huh? Nice. You sure there's not gonna be a Morgana on curve? Okay, there's not. Wait, I can't play this? Why can I not play this anymore? Oh, Trezana costs 3. Alright, furballs, attention! Some encouraging words. The reason why I pulled this is... I, I want to get rid of this guy. If this guy keeps being alive, especially once Mordekaiser like comes down, it's going to be so absolutely horrible for me. I need this guy to be gone. You should run some pie tosses and group shots. Counter slay archetype. I can see that, but I don't. I'm not sure about that. Maybe I don't even care about this because I have units only anyway. 
Nah, maybe I don't care about this. So they're gonna kill my Tristana, but if I play this, she's on 4 health. Bandle Ghana. No one is beyond my reach. No one. No one. Ooh. You know, Electro Harpoon is so tempting, but I really, really want to discard the Mordekaiser. I think that has to be the play. Discarding the Mordekaiser has to be my biggest priority. Oh, wait, I can't play it. Because of this. Oh my god. Six. I can't even play it next turn. Because I don't have enough mana. <laughs> this card, I swear to god. Bro. <laughs> I need to get rid of these before the Mordekaiser comes onto play. Like, they can take a huge hit here and then revive both of these. Yeah. I wonder what opponent is gonna play now. Hmm, I wonder. Surely, surely it's not a Mordekaiser, right? Surely. Hmm. Oh, what? It's a Mordekaiser. Wait, I. There's no way I could have ever predicted that. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Phew. I'm surprised, man. God damn. Who would have expected that? Not me, definitely not. <laughs> I never have the 12 mana one, huh? I actually had the counter, but I couldn't because of this. <laughs> Alright, enough ranting. I've already said often enough that Mordecai's level 1 is way too strong and this card is giga broken. We all know, I've said it enough, but yeah, it's just... If you want to play this game, you, you just have to play against this every now and then. Every second, third game. It's better to enjoy the meta because it's like a puzzle. What do you mean it's like a puzzle? Love Inquisitor. You said and you will love it. I know that it probably feels really good to play, but it's so obnoxious to play against. I wonder if I can ever win this. I do have a lot of impact, which they can kill right now. I'm gonna equip this so Mordekaiser doesn't kill her. I guess I'll just use these as this card because I can't play them anyway. I'm not gonna play 13 mana on one turn, just so I'm able to play a heal 2 or a discard. Level 1 Mordekaisa should only revive the units that he kills on play. This thing, the other sentence, should only be on level 2. This should not be on the level 1. The thing is, I have to open attack no matter how they clear my board, because if they have a Morgana, which they most likely do now, I'm just f***ed. So I kinda need to hope that I get lethal with Zion, which I probably will not, because this blocks him. The one my darkness bro? I'm not a big fan of darkness, honestly. I don't really like it that much. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think it's great that they release new champs in a strong state, which is obviously fine. But it becomes very stale if there's no balance patches for over a month. If we have to play against this for two months in a row, every single game, it just becomes super boring. That's why balance patches are so important in this game. Is 
I like when new champs are strong. Like, that's really good for the game. That makes people want to play and try it out. But yeah, we need balance patches after a while. I know Riot was on a holiday break, which is completely fine. But... I think a hotfix pack could have been very nice to have. Probably a Vengeance, and then they're gonna Morgana me. Oh I can Death's Grasp now. Might need to look for more impact. I need to look for a bit more impact. Uh, that's three. Four is seven. I don't have enough for that. I need to take you. Then I can play this also. I might still win this. That on two mana, I don't think there's much they can do. Yeah, I think I win this. That's 4 impact plus the sign overwhelm. Let's go! 30 mana suppression! <laughs> God damn. <laughs> On our present period? No, we lost. <coughs> we lost that one game against aggro. Ooh. I wonder if we beat this matchup. I wonder. I don't have landmark remover, right? For the temple. I guess Conch can find one, but that's all I have. I should add the the explorer card, no? That's also multi-region. Oh, I didn't find it. Condense. I guess it's face brought then. Maybe it should have been the Skadry card actually. That's actually such a hard counter to me. That's cheating. <coughs> That's cheating. Ooh, I can spread out maybe? I guess I'll spread out. And then buff everything? Tristan, what's the concept? Yeah, basically. Tristana, Mecha Yordle, discard. Aggro. Mayo and Artis can also make one. Oh, the explorer is true. Yeah, that's that's true. Alright, Mister, did you already yeah you did. If it's a people problem, I'm your man. I still gotta upload. Thank you very much. Oh, you need to re-render? Okay, then I need to wait. Fix my stage first or my lyrics. So much to do. I think I wanna spread out with this. Because that gives me two more units instead of just one. Do you see still here LOR version? Yeah, I've seen that video. That was really, really good. That was fantastic. Really well done. Alright, let's see what this gives me. Maybe I can find another one drop. Okay. Did not find one, but that's fine. So they wanna play Temple next turn, but that's where I pressure. Canning Cat Lewis. You see the Darkin one from the same channel? Um, I don't think so, no? No! Damn. That's less aggro now. I guess it's still okay.
<laughs> I got a good block here, but where? But that's like 6, 10, 14 damage if they don't block with those. So always temple on curve, no no surprises. This deck always has temple on five. Have I done so in 10, 20 minutes? Okay, I see. Sing with me. Okay. Anti aggro down. Uh one more dual region. Or Tristana. And this comes two mana. Whoa, you sound great. I can level Tristana next turn. Oh, Seraphine is dead? Let's go. But I probably lose now because I don't have a counter to this. Three, six. Ooh, but he's not leveled on curve, I think. I wonder if they can kill my Tristana. I really want to play her before these because she buffs them. But there's always the risk of her dying. So I think I need to spread out and play her once she's leveled because 4 health is harder for them to kill. They could play Aftershock. More unicorns, huh? Attention! They could have Morgana, so I need to open attack. Like, they can easily stop this 100%. Like, Morgana stun on Tristana, double block into kill this with Mystic Shot or something. Like, they can easily stop this. Twenty-four to thirty-five. Okay. If I override this with another unit, do I get the weapon back? I do. I do get it back, right? We were peaceful once. I think I get it back. No, I don't. Okay. Never mind then. One big barrel. Eight. Twenty-eight. Twenty-three. Ooh. So if I discard arena promoter with arena promoter, sign is leveled. Will be done me. Oh that's interesting. But I think that's not good in this matchup. Lukey Turtle, hello, hello. How's it going? You think both Sarah and Karma will be rotated? Karma, 100%. They cannot not rotate her. Like, that has to be a 100%. Seraphine, I'm not 100% sure. I can't really say. Maybe. Are you fan or are you? I'm doing fantastic, man. I love me some Tristana decks. I love me some good Tristana decks. There's no nothing in my deck that lets me kill my sign though. She will get rotated, but there might be a chance. Wow. The problem now is because they have Morgan on the board, they could always find her champion spell. 
I mean, no matter what, I have to develop here. Because I need to apply pressure. Morgana's stun can be used in combat anyway, so it doesn't matter if I open a swing or not. Six cards in hand. Three from the level. Great, I'm loving this. Shark trainer. bad that Sign got the weapon because he doesn't need the health. So Morgana's done here. This still is five. Sing with me. Man, I, I, I hope Temple gets rotated. I really, really hate this card. Not another step. Into the dark. I am your darkness. I am your truth. I, I really, really despise Temple as a card. Yeah, let's go. Perfect. Truth binds you. More stuns, huh? 30 cards in the deck and they actually get two stun cards in hand. We will be free. That's always nice. Yeah, the plus one needs to get removed or just rotate this card, man. I, I, I don't want to see it anymore. I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of this card. In my curse. Look at this, they're back to 12 health. Now even more. Uh, how about a discount? Like that's so annoying. <laughs> oh yeah, even more. Perfect. Wonderful. Oh yeah, let's go. God, I hate Temple so much. I hate his card so much. Welcome this is somehow even worse than six mana power. And I did not know that was possible. Hey yo, 1v1, would you mind taking a break from Temple? I do not mind at all. I appreciate that. Mystic Shot or Caustic Grief. This might be better to attack with. Or a High Noted. So I think this is always better. But yeah, I'm, this is probably not lethal again. 100% not. I don't Necromancy. Oh boy. Cook the deck with your beloved Arctic. I'm curious. I'm intrigued. Let's hear it. Well, what now? And let me guess, next turn they will get their freaking cat doubled. Man, I'm enjoying this so much. I love Temple.
Seraphine created this card. Zero mana plus four healing, plus a draw two. Another draw two. Alright, you know what? Let's rotate Seraphine. I don't mind anymore. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? God, I hate this deck so much. Every temple deck is so fing annoying to play against. And again, eight cards in hand. Bro, this f***ing card, I swear to god. This is worse than 6 mana bar. Yeah, I, I, I guess I, I'm gonna run Explorers. And another plus seven health. Shall we bully off? Bear this burden. <laughs> All right, line up, you little choppers. <sighs> Back to eighteen. I remember when I was ahead in the game, but then they played Temple, and then the game was just over on turn 5. Oh sure, that's gonna do something, right? Surely that's gonna do something. Oh yeah, man, thank god it did something. Man, I enjoyed this game so much. I got outplayed so hard. Play Temple of Five, Profit. I win the game. Alright, I'm gonna add 